Each year, Oak Ridge National Laboratory scientists release about 200 inventions based on the work they've done at Oak Ridge. And of those, we produce about 100 patents per year. And each year, we choose the five that we think are the most promising and select them for what we call our Technology Innovation Program Investment. And the idea here is we invest about $200,000 per technology, and at the end of that one-year investment, we try to find the best possible partners to license the technology, in some cases make a subsequent investment to work with the partners to take that technology to the next step towards being commercialized. The first one is a technology called Cell Sight. This technology allows you to take individual cells and take them apart and study what's inside them using mass spectroscopy. And it can study cells at about a rate of one cell per second. And we think this will be really important for fundamental research, understanding how cells work, also for understanding disease progression, and ultimately as a tool for disease diagnosis. The second technology we have is a technology for detecting radiation, particularly something like radon, and having a color that appears that tells you in real time if you have radiation present or not. And this will be useful in the home for radon detection. Could also be useful in hospital laboratories where people work with radioisotopes, anywhere where there's a concern that there might be a spill or some kind of a contamination. One of the challenges both with energy production plants and with food crops is that we're seeing an uh, increase in drought, and in some cases the local water sources have lots of salt. And so our researchers have developed a technology that is take a gene from the agave plant, which is a desert plant, and inject that into food crops and energy crops. As a result, they're seeing the production of new plants that can survive longer periods without rainfall and can survive being in the presence of brackish water more than their, their normal counterparts can. One of our researchers has developed a technology that makes it easier to produce what they call roots and shoots, or cellular masses that can be turned into plants. And this new technology, along with genetic editing technologies, really help to make these new plant varieties that are being developed more accessible. The last technology that we have is a plastic that's made from renewable sources that has both greater strength and greater toughness than the commercially available counterparts. So in addition to being cost competitive and being renewable, this new material has the potential to have much higher performance than is commercially available on the market today. When you take these very smart scientists that we have and these remarkable capabilities that we have and harvest their creativity and their innovation, it's amazing what you can come up with. We're delighted to have the opportunity to share these technologies with potential commercial partners and certainly look forward to sharing with you the results of the TIP program as they finish their projects later this year.